Good to see you again. You gotta be kidding me. Are you currently sexually active? You think there's an STD in my arm? That would be my entire forearm in there. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. It's good to know. Let's jump into standing up, falling down, as 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 we discussed. This is a great role for you. It's really yeah. fun to, just to see you in it, and and I, it's been described by some as the best performance of of your career. Do you feel that way? Is is this is this a really special? Oh, uh, you know, I don't. I, that's very kind. Um, it was a great part uh, to to play. I'm 72 now, and I feel like I'm I'm really just really understanding the work better. I don't know what it is, whether, you know, I don't know. It was a very relaxed approach to this character. I understood him. It was a very small budget movie, uh, which I really liked because it's, there was no tra trappings of making it. It was just come to work and work with a brilliant young actor like Ben Schwartz, a very passionate, terrific first time director, uh, Matt Ratner, and a, a very solid script that we all were able to hone in and polish every day before we would start shooting. So the character Marty, he, he didn't even have a last name. That's how s small the budget was. <laughs> I wanted to look a certain way. I just sort of got him. Um, and if, uh, I, I just felt very at ease with his, um, really with his pain and what, what he was covering up. And um, uh, he's a pot smoking, hard drinking dermatologist, which was really difficult for me because um, I'm not a dermatologist. And so the, the research was quite fun. Are you high? Yeah. You stink of marijuana. Oh, it's not man's hand. When I, when I got sent the script, I saw great potential in it. And it was a, 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 he was a lot different than he ended up being in the film. So I was able to plug in um, with Matt and Peter Hoare, who wrote the screenplay, some things that I thought were missing and, and, and polish it. And Ben did as well. And we were a very good team. And you can't, you can't do good work unless you have somebody working with you. And I was very fortunate to have Ben and Nate Quadri, who plays my son, who really we only have, you know, one big scene together, but it's a powerhouse scene. You know, you're challenged by who you're working with and they bring out the best in you. So um, I, I, I give them a lot of credit as well. Well, it's interesting. It occurred to me uh, with Marty, he's dealing with some of the things uh, in terms of estrangement from his son, sort of treating people, pushing people away that uh, Buddy Young Jr. did in Mr. Saturday Night. And at that point, when you played that role, you were a younger man playing older. What's it like to sort of play this personality now, now that you are around the same age? What well, it was great because I think it was it helped because it was very freeing. Uh, I didn't have five pounds of rubber on my face, you know, um, like I did with 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 Buddy uh, and and Miracle Max or any of the other characters that I've played who, you know, you need these appliances. So it just felt very organic. I just, you know, understood him. And I, I, I was a big fan, Ethan, of an amazing actor named Jack Lemmon. Mm -hmm. and, and Mr. Lemon, who I got to know pretty well, um, was always a hero for me because he could play big, broad comedy like in Some Like It Hot or Mr. Roberts. I kept thinking of, of Jack in, in, in this part. Um, that this was, I said, well, this is my Jack Lemon part. I, I was looking over your, your your career. It's interesting. I think this is the first time you played, a, and, I, and I might be wrong, so you can correct me, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time you played a character who's died in the film. I don't think you've ever uh, had had a character who's died before, which was really fascinating. Uh, were, were, were you sad you didn't get a full death scene? Did you? Did you? Now, are you are you sad that maybe some of these people who are watching this have not seen the movie yet? <laughs> so forget what he said. I live. I live. And you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I don't. Uh, I no, I haven't died in anything. Uh, it, I, it's you know at the box office sometimes, but not, not, not in the film. And ironically, the funeral scene where Ben gives this lovely eulogy was shot in my hometown. That's the synagogue that I was bar mitzvah in. How crazy it was! And I, I had no idea when I when when we got the schedule and said, wait, we're shooting in Long Beach, Long Island? I said, yeah, we got some great locations and so on. I just had to say your name and they let us let us shoot there. They said, we're shooting in the temple when you were bar mitzvah. What? So that was a that was a nice little perk. Obviously, there's there's Oscar talk surrounding your, your performance. I, I wonder as someone who, you know, has hosted the Oscars all these years, watched them unfold, what do you think about the Oscars happening this year? You know, these are such difficult times. Um, and the movie business, uh, you know, loves to celebrate and, and people love to celebrate with them. I think they're in April. Um, so we'll, I think there's still judgment to see what will happen. 
but just to be, you know, have my name in the mix is um, is exciting enough already. I, I don't know if you got a chance to see the the Emmys with Jim, uh, with uh, Jimmy Kimmel hosted, uh, and so how did you think he did as as, as a host of virtual ceremony? What would you I thought he did great, I, and uh, and I was in touch with him um, immediately after because I was so taken with. I know how how hard it is to do live. Um, you know, having done the Oscars and the Grammys three times and all the comic reliefs. Um, but to do it in, in, in the empty Staples Center um, and yet make it funny and, and um, appropriate, uh, I, thought was, I thought he did a fantastic job, and as did the producers. If they came to you asking you to do one of your signature musical numbers for this edition, would you uh, would you figure out? I don't know. I don't know. I you know where, where, where am I going to do it? I'm, this is where I, I I haven't left this chair since the March 13th. So I'm here. That my food is piped in. I'm on an IV, <laughs> and um, and I'm actually sitting on a commode. So um, I, I don't know. I, I man, I just want us to get healthy. I got my shot, my first shot the other day at Dodger Stadium. Um, which was kind of perfect in its own way. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so um, everybody's got to do their due diligence and um, not just think the vaccine is the cure-all. You really got to mask up folks and, and, and help us get, get it right.